I think there's several reasons that we think we have special rights and privileges or something in the Philippines. First of all, you can't be familiar with the Philippines without liking them. And you develop a real genuine affection for the Philippine people and for the country, the more you're associated with it, I think. And it's sort of painful once you've done that to watch things not develop the way uh, to see them hurt and so on. I believe the Americans in that part of the world genuinely feel that way. They have a deep-seated uh, love for the Philippines. We also have a long traditional tie, and Philippine failure reflects on the United States. Philippine success reflects on the United States. So we like to see it work, and uh, then you can go on about strategic interests and the importance of that part of the world, et cetera. But I think those two things, number one, our affection for the Philippines, and number two, our traditional tie that has bound us up together and look at World War II. Older people in the Philippines that served in the guerrilla movement, served in the American Army. You know, the U.S. Navy has a tremendous retired population in the Philippines. And uh, those people talk with great nostalgia about serving in the U.S. Navy and their love of America. And of course, the Philippine families in my home are uh, two Philippine enlisted people in the U.S. Navy whose families live in the Philippines. And uh, those men will live the rest of their lives in America, but they, have, they go home to the Philippines all the time. And they sort of are a representative of our relationship with the Philippines. And the Philippines themselves have an a, uh, ambivalent relationship with Americans. I've had in my talks with Philippine senior officers, I've had them get quite irritated or agitated when I would appear to be giving them advice. And within five minutes, I've had them turn right around and say, now you've got to tell me what to do about this problem. But Americans have a way of uh, just doing that. I mean, we just get attached, and uh, there are no more fervent advocates for the Philippines than uh, old-hand Americans who've lived in the Philippines.